Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel again. So in this video, uh, let me discuss something about model A3 of electric circuit analysis. That is nothing but transient analysis. Transient analysis. And it's very easy and very important to understand this concept now. So before understanding about transient analysis, first you should know what is steady state. Steady, the word itself says, a network in which branch currents and node voltages are not changing with respect to time is called as steady state. In between this, you can see here transition period also. So that is nothing but when, when a network is switched from one condition to other, the change in applied voltage or change in one of the circuit elements during a period of time means if there is a circuit, if it is switching from one condition to other condition by changing the voltage or by changing any of the circuit elements during a period of time, branch currents and voltages also changes from their former values. That is nothing but from old values to new value. So that time interval is called as transition period and the response or else output of network during this transition period we can call it as transient response. Means if the circuit which is changing its behavior from one place to other place, in that case, whatever the response, whatever the output we are getting, that we can call it as transient response of the network. Here we'll be having a T of zero minus, it is nothing but response, it is nothing but it is always having a switch like this. There is a switch. Either it may be closed or else open, that will be depending on the arrow of this switch. Okay. Suppose if this switch is having a steady state is nothing but when t equals to zero means if at zero condition this is in steady state so before closing this switch so now it is at t equals to zero the arrow is downward is now it is nothing but it is about to close but before closing this the response will be zero minus so that t of zero minus when t of zero minus the switch is closed means before opening the switch is closed is clear sorry it is open so when t equals to zero minus is nothing but just before t equals to zero before t equals to zero the switch is open that is nothing but when t equals to zero minus the switch is open suppose t plus is nothing but minus indicates before closing plus indicates after closing just immediately after closing t so that is nothing but minus minus means before closing switch and plus means immediately after closing switch this is transient analysis okay we get to know when whenever i'm uh, whenever i'm explaining the problem so reference time which is obviously zero so one thing you should understand that if there is a switch if you can see the arrow of the switch like this at t equals to zero means when t equals to zero switch is closed and before closing switch what happened it is open that is nothing but when t equals to zero minus switch is open and again immediately closing is nothing but when t equals to zero plus again the switch will be closed that's it it is a very simple logic and under steady state condition we should understand the inductor will be short circuited and capacitor will be open circuited if there is an inductor so under steady state condition that will be act as short circuit if there is a capacitor in steady state condition that will be act as open circuit and you can see initial conditions very very important they asked many times in the examination initial conditions of circuit elements circuit elements are nothing but resistors capacitors and inductors so initial condition of register register it won't change it is a steady state so that relations between applied voltage and resulting current so just simply you can say it as a ohms law v equals to i into r 
this is a register behavior of register it would change so that it will be producing a linear curve if you plot a voltage across current graph so it will give if you increase the voltage current is also increases it will get what linear curve vi characteristics so that linear and also it is time independent it is not depending on time whether the switch is open or close before closing after closing whatever it is the value of register which is constant it is not short circuiting it is not open circuiting it is acting as a register itself okay so that this indicates that the current through the register changes instantaneously only if applied voltage changes if there is a fixed voltage the current is also fixed but whenever which comes to the inductor you can consider if there is a inductor which is connected across the voltage source in between if you are having a switch so you can observe the arrow it is downward means it is closed when t equals to 0 the switch is closed i will write here as w is closed understand this is the switch is closed when t equals to 0 but what happen before closing switch that is nothing but when t equals to 0 minus the switch is open what happened immediately after closing that is nothing but when t equals to 0 plus switch is again closed that is nothing but equals to or greater than clear so that you can consider inductor l there is a drop across inductor that is vl current flowing through this is il so how will write voltage the relationship between voltage in the inductor is given by vl equals to l into dil of t divided by dt this is a basic v is given by l into di by dt so whereas you are writing a time dependent so that l into il il is nothing but current flows to the inductor il of t divided by dt suppose if there is a dc current which is flowing through the inductor dl by dt becomes zero as dc current which is constant it is not depending on the time it is a straight line so that for dc quantities which if we are considered in steady state condition the inductor which will be act as a short circuit in case of dc circuit the inductor will be act as a short circuit that is called under steady state condition under steady state condition inductor act as a short circuit similarly capacitor that will be, that will be act as open circuit okay so now once after writing the voltage so now you write the value of current how will write current so you know the voltage relation so how will write voltage vl is given by l into dil of t divided by dt so with respect of this you are writing il that is nothing but you are integrating on both side if you are integrating on both side d by dt will get cancel only what will get il of t okay and l you send that to left side that is nothing but vl by l that is nothing but 1 by l and you are integrating on both side here so that integrate integration and differentiation will get cancel here here what happened integration of vl into dt and this is changing from minus infinite to a time period t that is nothing but either when t equals to 0 or minus 0 or 0 plus so that assume that switching takes place at t equals to 0 if switching which will be takes place at t equals to 0 is nothing but it will be changing from minus infinite to 0 then 0 to t so that we are splitting the limits into two intervals the one is minus infinite to 0 other one is 0 to infinite okay so once after doing that switching so you are rewriting here 0 minus is nothing but just before closing switch 0 plus is nothing but after closing switch so that before closing switch you are writing now when the switch is open inductor so that il equals to you are splitting here 1 by l into integration of minus infinite to 0 minus vl into dt similarly splitting minus 0 to t so this first term whatever the first term will be having this will be indicating before closing switch before the switch il which is closed that is called as history period or else former period okay so that you, are, you can read it as this is nothing but current so you can write here il of 0 minus so that il of t equals il of 0 minus plus 0 minus to interval t when vl into dt so now if t equals to 0 plus you already know that the circuit which will be having like this there will be inductor will be having voltage source 
So here, if t equals to zero minus switch is open, t equals to zero plus means switch is closed. Once the switch which is closed at t equals to zero, so again you can rewrite here I L of t equals before closing the first term indicates before closing switch so that I L of zero minus plus one by L into integration of zero minus to zero plus into V L into d t. Okay, so this term becomes zero. Whereas it is from zero minus to zero plus, so that the voltage across the inductor that will be short circuited. So that you can get the condition of, or else you can get the initial condition of inductor. So before closing switch, whatever the current will be having, that will be same as after closing the switch. That is uh, after closing the switch, whenever the same current which is flowing through the inductor, so that. The current flows through the inductor before and after switching action that will be same. So if there is an inductor, if there is a switching action, you need to find either before closing switch current or else after closing switch current. So both are same. So that I L of zero minus equals to I L of zero plus. It is nothing but the current flows through the inductor cannot change instantaneously. That is fixed. So in case of inductor, you are writing the value of current. So you can observe once again. Can see the uh, derivation or else the relation once again. We just analyze what it has. So you are writing the inductor first. Then you are defining the voltage across the inductor L into dL. But with the, with the help of that, you are writing current I L equals to one by L into integration of minus infinite to t. Then splitting from infinite to zero, zero to t. So first term is before closing switch. So that zero minus. I L of zero minus into bar cold tira. Second term. So if I wanted to tell in a kind of, I'll just use. Uh, I'll just explain in a few words. So inductor li ena go tendre. First to switch. Switch value t equals to zero idaga. Arrow mark direction odi. Ato close agir. Andre t equals to zero idaga switch va gena gide close agide. T equals to zero minus andre close agi into munche before closing switch. Zero hinda hi nirite zero minus hirite. So close again to move the switch and agree to open again. So that when t equals to zero minus to the switch and agree to open again. Again t equals to zero plus that again agree to switch mark to close again. So inductor consider mark there. That is the voltage bar there. L into d I by d T and the L to the integration apply mark there. So that means I L of t and the expression bar called there. That is nothing but one by L into integration from minus infinite to t V L into d T. So it means mark there. Even assume mark called there. Switching action, I will get takes place. I will get assume mark there. I will get t equals to zero. So I will get minus infinity in the zero. I will get zero in the t. I will get so zero minus and before closing switch, zero plus and after closing switch. So I will of t equals to one by L integration from minus infinity zero and the body there on term move in the zero minus to t and the body there. So in minus infinity to zero minus and before closing switch, I will get direct again and the body called there. I will of zero minus and the body called there. Here. So that means in what term next to inner term, inner term next after closing switch, I get the other t, t equals to I get the other zero plus I get the after closing the switch t equals to zero plus I get the so that e term I get the other zero I get the so I get inductor the relation I get the I L of zero minus equals to I L of zero plus and then switch close mode means the end current is there, and the current is switch open mode means the other is there. That is the relation. I L of zero minus equals to I L of zero plus. So इवागा capacitor capacitor इन तो बन मिले voltage नोट दिया. So इवागा capacitor ना voltage across. Sorry, if you are applying current that will be flowing through the capacitor. So again you can see the T equals to zero तो again रहते switch close ही रहते zero minus इधर का open आ गुते zero plus इधर का मते close आ गुते. So with the help of this you are writing the value of current I C equals to C into D V C by D T इन तो बर कोल दिया. So now we are going to the voltage capacitor, which is voltage depend. It will be a what voltage carrying element. So that you are writing voltage with the help of this relation. So if our voltage break on the end, what is the result? Kind of matte integration matte. So integration matte will be what? V of t equals to one by c into. So if our no the voltage. So if our current take what is the result? Current you are writing it as you just observe here. The current you are writing it as c into d v c by d t. Current take body there. You are writing I C equals to C into D V C of T. Time dependent there. Okay, of T body there. Divided by T. Here do we do? In body there integration apply. Body there. 
ಇಂಟಿಗ್ರೇಷನ್ ಅಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡ್ರಿ ಇಂಟಿಗ್ರೇಷನ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸಲ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಸಿ ಇರೋದನ್ನ ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ಸಿ ಇಂಟು ಇಂಟಿಗ್ರೇಷನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಇನ್ಫೈನೈಟ್ ಟು ಟಿ ಐ ಸಿ ಇಂಟು ಡಿ ಟಿ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ವಿ ಸಿ ಆಫ್ ಟಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬರ್ದಿದ್ದಾರೆ ನೋಡಿ ಮೈನಸ್ ಇನ್ಫೈನೈಟ್ ಟು ಟಿ ಸೊ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರಾ ಮತ್ತೆ ಸ್ಪ್ಲಿಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರಾ ಮೈನಸ್ ಇನ್ಫೈನೈಟ್ ಟು ಜೀರೋ ಮೈನಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಜೀರೋ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟು ಟಿ ಸೊ ಅಗೇನ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಆರ್ ಎಚ್ ಎಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಏನು ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಇನಿಷಿಯಲ್ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಆನ್ ಕೆಪಾಸಿಟರ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ವಿಚ್ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ವಿ ಸಿ ಆಫ್ ಜೀರೋ ಅಂತ ಬರ್ಕೊಳ್ತೀರಾ ಸೊ ರೈಟಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಎಸ್ ವಿ ಸಿ ಆಫ್ ಜೀರೋ ಮೈನಸ್ ಇದು ವಿ ಸಿ ಆಫ್ ಜೀರೋ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಬೇಕಂದ್ರೆ ಟಿ ಕೋಸ್ ಟು ಜೀರೋ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಹಾಕ್ತೀರಾ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವಿ ಸಿ ಆಫ್ ಜೀರೋ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಸಿ ಆಫ್ ಜೀರೋ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ವಿಚ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕೆಪಾಸಿಟರ್ ಯಾವಾಗ್ಲೂ ಓಪನ್ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಯಾವಾಗ ಸ್ವಿಚ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಅದು ಓಪನ್ ಸರ್ಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಈ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅವಾಗ ಜೀರೋ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಸಿ ಆಫ್ ಜೀರೋ ಮೈನಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ವಿ ಸಿ ಆಫ್ ಜೀರೋ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ವಿ ಸಿ ಆಫ್ ಜೀರೋ ಮೈನಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ವಿ ಸಿ ಆಫ್ ಜೀರೋ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಆಫ್ ವೋಲ್ಟೇಜ್ ಅಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಕೆಪಾಸಿಟರ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಆರ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಸೇಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ಬೋತ್ ಕೇಸಸ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಸಿ ಆಫ್ ಜೀರೋ ಮೈನಸ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಸೇಮ್ ಆಸ್ ವಿ ಸಿ ಆಫ್ ಜೀರೋ ಪ್ಲಸ್ which is nothing but voltage across the capacitor that cannot change instantaneously so these conditions you need to remember while solving the initial conditions if there is a inductor current flowing through the inductor cannot change instantaneously so that il of 0 minus equals to il of 0 plus 0 minus means before closing switch 0 plus means just after closing switch okay at the same case if there is a capacitor voltage across the capacitor cannot change instantaneously so that vc of 0 minus is same as vc of 0 plus okay so these conditions you have to understand and one more condition is in case of steady state inductor that will be act as a short circuit and capacitor that will be act as open circuit keep that in your mind okay and in case of l il of 0 minus equals to il of 0 plus and in case of capacitor vc of 0 minus equals to vc of 0 plus so i hope you are getting this so if you are having any doubts regarding this feel free to write in a comment box it's very important to understand and very important questions they asked many times in the examination you need to write the initial conditions of resistors and also you need to write the initial condition of inductor that's nothing but you have to prove it as il of 0 minus equals to il of 0 plus the same procedure splitting the integration first term is before closing next term becomes zero okay voltage will kuda first term in martira initial vc of zero minus anta barkoltira second term after closing that will be zero okay so just wait for the next video i'll come along with the problems on initial conditions that are very important and very interesting to solve and many of you are having a confusion in that case so that i'll clear all the confusions if you're having any doubts regarding that feel free to write in a comment box So thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any doubts, feel free to write in the comment box as well as if you really like this video, kindly subscribe and share maximum. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.